I'm Jason Wimberly, celebrity trainer, 20 years experience, over 7,000 classes. We're at my newest home called Health House, right in the center of West Hollywood. Each week, we're gonna be working with a different queen. What is this circus of life foolishness? Last one? Oh, I don't know if I have oh, one more. Oh, you do, take it to oh, your knees. There it is. With each girl, we're gonna have a different focus. Bring that elbow inside, touch that ankle. Oh my God. <laughs> They're all things that you can do at home with me. So if you're watching us at home, get off the couch, move along with us. Is this gonna be possible in the heels? <laughs> it's possible. I really think the most important thing is that we have a ton of fun. I'm so excited! Yes, honey. Workout's a drag, but we're gonna make it fabulous. Well, she hey. has arrived. Hi, <laughs> how are you? It's so good to oh see my you. Oh, good to see you. It's been a minute. And I you know. look as gorgeous. Oh my goodness, you're embarrassing. As me. ever. Hey, I want to get this body moving. Can we go sweat? Yeah, let's do it. Let's go. Come on. Your body looks sensational. Thank you so much. I know you're an amazing athlete. Do you go to the gym regularly? I was a gymnast for like most of my life. So I just do gymnastics either at the gym or at home in the backyard or whatever. That's a great way to have it. It's not just going to the gym. It's about being moving all the time. But today I want to walk you through three of my favorite booty exercises. Uh -huh. Although I really don't think it needs any work. I live in West Hollywood. So like if your butt is not on fleek, then like, who are you? Take your jacket off. Let's get you comfy. We're gonna move okay. ourselves down to the floor. And the best way to get your butt activated at home or anywhere is a bridge. Okay, babe, go ahead and lay all the way down on your back. Feet are gonna be right in line with your knees so everything's in one perfect position. Hands are on the side, bridge up. Lift your hips up for me as high as you can. Focus on squeezing her booty together. Squeeze that tight and then lower down. Go ahead and go up. And down one more, they're gonna hold you to the top and just stay here for a few seconds while I tell you a little story. So okay. we think about the squat as the best way to work the booty, but really that's working your back, your core. And if we wanna isolate these gorgeous glutes, you gotta stay up here and squeeze this even more. You like diamonds, don't you? I do. Imagine a 10 carat Harry Winston, flawless cushion cut. And the only way you can keep it is if you squeeze it right between those butt cheeks. Yeah, oh does that my help God. a little bit? Okay, yeah, I feel squeeze it. Squeeze it tighter. And now you're gonna go halfway down and pulse up this way. So you go half and pulse and half, and pulse. And squeeze that booty as much as you can. Good, if you're trying this at home, please get your hips up as high as you can. And one, <sighs> take a little break. I feel my booty, and also I feel like if you squeeze your tummy when you're doing it, you're also getting an ab workout as you well. You are so smart, and I love you for saying that. So the bridge actually starts in our core. The movement starts from here. So by pulling that belly button in, we're activating the core and the glutes all at once. So she doesn't want abs and ass, right? Absolutely. We're gonna go back onto our back and we're gonna try a new version of that bridge. This is called a butterfly bridge, guys. Go ahead and lay on your back. I'm gonna add a little fun. If you don't have a medicine ball at home, you can grab whatever you need to stack a little stack about six inches high. Put your feet together on the ball. Now you're gonna do a butterfly where you drop your knees open, the soles of the feet are together. Is this gonna be possible in your heels? <laughs> it's possible. <laughs> and now you're gonna do the same bridge up and like down. that? Just like that. And I'm gonna let go of the ball and you're gonna keep going. So you gotta use your core to balance. This is a hard one, guys. If you have something that moves like this ball, she's having to engage her core the whole time. I'm helping her just a little bit. Keep going. And she's breathing as she lifts one more. <sighs> and take a break. Can okay. I help you out? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she's like, I got it myself. How does that feel? Uh, it feels good. I felt a lot of inner thigh, right? The inner thigh, yeah. But also by opening the legs out, we're getting a little adductor and we're getting that medial glute, which is this upper part right here, which okay. helps make the booty pop up even more. Go around to all fours. We're gonna face this direction. Okay. We have a fire hydrant. So you get on that tabletop <laughs> with a hair flip, no less. And I'm gonna hand you this little weight. You're gonna throw it right underneath that right knee. And all you can do is to lift up to the side, right up to the center and down, out directly to the side, a little fire hydrant. That's perfect. And the whole time she's gonna try and squeeze the weight so it doesn't fall. It's one of those exercises you don't wanna make eye contact with anyone else when you do it. It just doesn't look good, <laughs> but it's amazing for the booty. 
This is one of the best ways to activate this gorgeous part of her booty so it's nice and strong. And to the side, gorgeous. Do you wanna do the other side? Sure. Just gonna place it underneath her left knee, squeeze it nice and tight so we'll do one up the top and one up to the side. Oh my God, oh, oh my God. So perfect, so this is an example. <laughs> she lost that weight by not squeezing tight enough. Tighten it up. Yeah, squeeze it like, I always think it's like that first day you're trying a bikini after winter break and you're like, I can't squeeze everything like that. I have to wear a bikini all, all the time. <laughs> Last one. That's it. <laughs> Where are you feeling it? I'm feeling so much core. Good, that's exactly what we want. We always want more core in our yeah. lives. Cause that gives you the smaller waist and the big booty. Let's do a quick recap of what we learned today. First bridge of the day. We want to bring our hips up, squeeze our cheeks together. Uh-huh. Next, butterfly. Drop your knees open, the soles of the feet are together. She's having to engage her core the whole time. Then we finished off. We did where we were on all fours. Right up to the center, out directly to the side, a little fire hydrant. Don't Fun. make any eye contact. Yeah. <laughs> Have a seat with me. Let's talk about your gorgeous booty. It's amazing. You Thank look you. phenomenal. When did you start doing gymnastics? I started doing like official gymnastics when I was like in sixth grade. I think a lot of young gay people don't have that opportunity. So it was really special. You did, I was lucky enough. I played soccer and I danced and did everything. And I felt, always felt really strong as a young gay kid. And I'm curious as friends and as uh, knowing your transition and your journey, did that ever change for you once you transitioned? Was it difficult to feel strong as a woman? When I decided I want to physically go through the, a transition, um, the thought of like all these years of working out and stuff like that, I think that kind of almost held me back a lot from transitioning for mm -hmm. many years because I was like, oh, I'm too strong, I'm too big. What was it that really helped you accept your new body and how did you feel strong again? I got to a point where I felt like I didn't have anything to lose and I slowly like learn how to love every part of me yeah. through transitioning. For me, that was way more, um, that was like the, the coolest part of this whole thing. Not just, not just like changing my body, but like learning that like, I'm so much more than the outside of than me. A, than just a body, Yeah, right? exactly. Did you notice a moment where you really felt the world accept you a little bit more? I, I feel like it just gradually gotten better with time and yeah. the people around you uh, are going through a transition with you as well. The more that you go through that transition and you are doing the right things and you feel good about yourself, the people around you will also uh, yeah. join in with that. They, they feed off your energy. Everybody's valuable and everybody can be strong and look gorgeous exactly. in their own way. But I have an idea. What? I think this all would be a little bit more fun with a pair of heels on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's go. All I feel so much better in pair of heels, yeah. don't well, you? Well, you look so much better with a pair of heels. <laughs> I you. love it. So we're gonna transform our booties in our heels. You wanna come on down to the floor with me? Okay. And take the back leg, so you're gonna do that back. We're okay. gonna kick it all the way up, nice and big. Let's go. <sighs> oh, now I'm making big noise with it. <sighs> Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And one. <laughs> oh, gorgeous. Show off. <laughs> Show off. Yes, she is. Show off those legs, girl. <sighs> She's using all the stage. Oh, I almost <laughs> twist my ankle. Don't do that. Babe, did you have fun? I had a great time. Thank, Thank you so you much. Thank you for joining for... me. I want to make sure you're strong. I want to make sure you're healthy. I want to make sure you're sweating. I want to make sure you look gorgeous and safe on stage. I'm definitely going to feel that way leaving this place today. Yay. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Thank mm. you. Love you. Should we run away, walk out of here? Let's do yeah, it. Yeah, go. Oh, yeah. <sighs>